Oyster started just purely from a love of fly fishing. I didn't always fly fish really until I came to Georgia and discovered the North Georgia mountains and I was actually looking to buy a, a fly rod and my wife Shannon said why don't you just make one yourself. It took me six months to make the worst looking worst casting rod ever made but the second one turned out a little better and before I knew it I was in business. When you hand make a thing out of wood it has a soul to it. We'll start with a stock of Tonkin bamboo. It's going to be flamed with the propane torch and that'll give us the color we're looking for. From there we're going to do the varnish work. We'll wrap on the guides with thread, do the engraving. I think one of the biggest things that our company has done that set us apart from others is willingness to share what we did. We've had students from Argentina, South Africa, Taiwan, and to actually come and make a thing is a really unique experience for people. We've received a lot of help from Georgia establishments. The Chamber of Commerce has been tireless in helping us get the kind of exposure that we need to keep our business running. We've made rods for presidents, we've made rods for members of the royal family, and we've made rods for bricklayers and plumbers. It's people with a passion, and they want to preserve that passion in time through one of our custom fly rods.